So I was going to move to Ottawa pretty soon. I wasn't planning on making this video until I remember I have my fortune advice quota. So my fortune advice for this month is using Hinge. And it's not entirely a fortune advice because my friends suggest me using Hinge as well. Hinge is just another dating app like Tinder, but slightly better. On Tinder and Tenten, I'm getting maybe 10% reply rates. On Hinge, I'm getting pretty close to 100%. That's pretty good. Yeah, the problem with Hinge is there are too many liberals on there, but that's okay. Well, Hinge has this feature where you can caption your photos. So this one girl captioned one of her photos to be, Welcome to my TED Talk. And that was a bit confusing because her photo is just a regular mugshot. And she doesn't really have much else on her profile to go on, so I just decided to have a shot in the dark and ask her if she watched what she thinks about Jordan Peterson. Oh, well, it turns out she did watch him, and I think he even had plans to have a speech at her university, but he, he got cancelled. So she just brought up Ben Shapiro and says she thinks Ben Shapiro is too extreme. Well, yeah. well I didn't even bring him up, so that's interesting. So eventually she sends me this Jordan Peterson interview video with this North Korean defector. Eventually, I came across this article written by the diplomat pointing out the discrepancies between what she said in the past. And I know the diplomat is definitely not sympathetic towards North Korea because ever since maybe 2007 or 2008, they became in collaboration with CSIS, where the CSIS is just some sort of international legion intelligence wing of the CIA sort of thing. After her parents were jailed for her father's smuggling operation, during an interview with the diplomat, she claims that at the age of 9 and 11, she and her sister had to fend for themselves since they had to go to the mountains to get the grass to eat. So in other words, they're starving to death. But in her interview with BBC Radio, she claimed her sister went to her uncle's and she lived at her aunt's for three years during that period. In a South Korean TV show, her mom claimed that the child never had to find grass to eat because the family never lived in a position where they're starving. And now, here's a timeline of all the times she claimed that her father had died. The details can be found in the description. After the article was published, she contacted the authors. The authors eventually added a note at the end saying that since her English is not perfect, you shouldn't take everything she says literally. So if you say things that are contradictory and use the language barrier as the excuse, then when is your English ever perfect? And if your English is not going to be perfect, then am I only supposed to believe the stories that goes along with the narrative and dis disregarding discrepancies? And that's what reminded me that critical thinking is actually just if you go along with the YouTube narratives, with the mainstream narratives, you're capable of critical thinking, but as soon as you go off tracks and you're just a paid show or maybe you're, uh, you're brainwashed by somebody. Now you're probably wondering what my political views are. Well, if you look at the 2D political compass, so you know that there are four corners. Originally, I started somewhere near the center while I was in high school at university. But as time went on, as I watched more Alex Jones and uh, Ben Shapiro videos, I moved further to the bottom right corner, which is the anarcho-capitalist corner. Some may say it's libertarian. I was actually going to vote for the libertarians, but by that time, I already became disillusioned with libertarianism. Because I, I just looked up the party policies of the Libertarian Party of Canada. The Libertarian Party of Canada doesn't want to get rid of the free healthcare system. And if you think about the healthcare system, it has a lot in common with car insurance. Think about how car insurance works. If you want to get car insurance, you have to pay for it. If you're an at-risk group, if you have previous accidents, if you want to buy a car that's very easy to steal, so you have to pay more for your car insurance because it accounts for the risks. But just imagine if the car insurance is just free. 
not free as in free free beer, free as in it's paid by your taxes. So you can just drive as recklessly as you want. It won't even matter which car you buy. And that's why I believe private health insurance should replace the free healthcare system because if you're at risk group, if you're at higher risk of getting a heart attack, for example, you should just pay more. Well, at least that's what I believe a few years ago. And now, going back to the political compass, you notice how there are four edges? Well, as I moved further and further to the bottom right corner, eventually, I gave up on democracy altogether. So I just got teleported to the top right side. And you know how democracy works, right? So just imagine you're on a plane. So there's one terrorist on board. So there's also a few people who are under the influence or so you're mentally unstable. So you're people from all walks of life. And the crazy part is, everybody has the flight controls. Everybody's in charge of the plane. Everybody can decide where the plane goes. And how does that work? Well, does the plane fly? In theory, it shouldn't fly. Because everybody will be fighting over the controls. Everybody will be going go up, down, left, right, going speeding up, slowing down at the same time. But the plane is still in the air. And at first I thought maybe the flight controls are just disconnected. But as time went on, I realized it's because the autopilot is on. And nobody has the controls. The controls are not just disconnected, they're just props. So you wonder who's in charge of the autopilot? Well, just look at the world today. Who do you think is in charge of the Lala pilots? Let's go back to the 2D political compass. So now my theory is the four extreme corners of the compass. So they're not actually extreme since they exist on a continuum. If you go too far on one edge, you could come out on any of the other edges. And that's what my politics lie currently, as I said. All four corners are connected, and depending on the issue, it might be on one extreme or the other. Um, I'm not a centrist anymore, and I don't think I will ever go back to being a centrist. I just support all the extremes simultaneously, and it makes sense in my mind. And so that marks the end of this video. I don't want to go too deep into the politics. I was originally planning on leaving more time for my torn thing. I have to leave that for another video.